the internet protocol IP of TCP IP is the networking protocol the networking layer so um, what does the network layer do well it defines the datagram the, the basic unit of transmission um, the you know this is the packet um, and it defines the internet addressing scheme um, and this is the case for both um, IPv4 version 4 and uh, version 6 um, it moves data between the data link layer and the transport layer where we are going to talk about uh, connection orientation uh, connectionless uh, you know anyways we'll, we'll that's 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 a higher transport layer uh, but the uh, the data that has been transferred at the data link layer over a single link um, we are you know then uh, ensuring yes it's the right address it's it, this is the place for it to go and then passing it up the stack to the transport layer uh, we are doing the routing at the network layer uh, ensuring that the datagram goes to the right host the right node on the network uh, so again you know this is the networking routing addressing all all part of the network layer all uh, functions of the network layer and this is what uh, IP defines in, in TCP IP um, and and this is uh, you know we are routing to remote hosts to to hosts that we cannot see directly uh, and again you know the routing protocols uh, deal with that issue of, of you know trying to get to uh, the proper host as efficiently as possible rather than just bouncing around the network until we happen upon the right place um, now there is uh, fragmentation and reassembly the uh, size of the datagram uh, may not exactly match the size of the packet that the transport layer has dealt with or uh, that the data link layer can handle in, in you know, that particular medium. So, um, the, you know, splitting up fragmentation of uh, packets that are too large or, and reassembling the packets properly at destination, you know, again, part of the network layer. Uh, again, um, talk about the Internet Control Message Protocol, ICMP. Um, this is uh, used to manage the network, to ensure uh, as much as possible that, you know, things are working properly, to uh, inform uh, uh, routing protocols, routing tables that uh, a host is available or is not, or a link is available or is not. Um, uh, making uh, changes to the size of the diagram, for example, um, if that is necessary for uh, reasons associated with uh, the other layers. So, um, this is uh, 
you know, as it says, you know, control message protocol. This is control message between uh, gateways and hosts regarding the low-level operation of the internet, the, the basic networking that is going on. Um, it's used um, very frequently in diagnostic tools of uh, a variety of different types. So we, uh, yeah, ICMP is, is something that we are going to be using frequently uh, for troubleshooting. Um, you know, I, again, possibly not directly, but the tools that we are using will be using ICMP. Um, ICMP is encapsulated within an IP packet, of course, because the IP, you know, datagrams, that's how they go. But they are identified, you know, as control messages, you know, by the appropriate flags being set. There. So, uh, the defining the datagram, uh, defining the addressing, um, doing the routing, uh, figuring out the routing, um, determining uh, problems, issues, routing, uh, either problems or, or uh, routes, um, improvements. Uh, most routing protocols are, are working on a fairly dynamic basis, and that's, you know, part of the uh, beauty of uh, TCP IP is, is um, its availability and its ability to handle uh, unavailability and, and uh, problems without the entire system crashing. So, 